hi everyone so in this video i'm going to teach you all electronic component names symbols and pictures so let's get started let's begin with the SMD resistor as you can see here this is the resistor here we have the symbol for resistor as you can see here in the motherboard over here we have SMD resistors the second component is the SMD capacitor as you can see and this is its symbol here we have plus and minus this is polarized capacitor here this color over here means the negative terminal and here we have the positive terminal we called it electrolytic capacitor as we can see here in the motherboard do you see here we have electrolytic capacitor here we have plus here also we have plus so this part is positive terminal and this part is negative terminal then we have the tantalum capacitor this is also polarized capacitor this is the positive terminal and over here we have the negative terminal okay so here also positive negative so this as you can see bended line means negative terminal okay then we have one of the most important components in every motherboard this is the ceramic capacitor this is the symbol for ceramic capacitor as you can see here in the motherboard you can find ceramic capacitors everywhere in the motherboard as you can see here here also we have ceramic capacitor this is ceramic capacitor over here we have ceramic capacitor ceramic capacitor etc but please pay attention this compound for example it has the same shape as you can see as the ceramic capacitor but this is inductor as you can see we have l means inductor so the ceramic capacitors is around every ic in the motherboard okay then we have inductor or coil winding inductor as you can see this is a symbol we find this kind of inductor in the computer motherboard okay then we have the stacked inductor or ESMD inductor with this symbol as you can see here in the motherboard we have the stacked inductor this also this also this also and this so this is inductor the reference for inductor is as you can see PL or L okay here we have PL38 but here we have L13 okay anyway you can find L or PL then we have other kind of inductor this is thin film inductor exactly as we have here for this one or even this and also this one here we have L4 L1 okay and those are capacitors so we have ASM diffuses do you see it has two symbols this symbol with a line here or this symbol so here we have f means fuse or zero also means fuse but we call this a fuse resistor so let's see the motherboard if we can find any fuse resistor here or fuse so basically we don't have here any fuse here as you can see this is fuse resistor I, I don't know if you can see it or no anyway this is the fuse resistor okay then we have SMD Zener diode as you can see the purpose of Zener diode is to stabilize the current in the circuit do you see this line the blue line means we have the cathode this line means this line as you can see to cathode and for the anode we have the anode but pay attention you can find some diodes like this one with a black color as you can see here in the motherboard for example this diode over here we have a black color this is not zener diode this is a normal diode but over here we have the zener diode as you can see with a blue line okay here we have the asmt push button switch this is basically a normal switch with as you can see the symbol we find the switch in the on off button then we have normal diode this is smd diode do you know exactly what smd means smd means surface mounted device okay means the compound is mounted 
in the surface, in the motherboard surface, okay? Not holes, okay? So this is diode with the anode hair and the cathode hair. So let's see the motherboard, if we can find any diode over here. So let's see. Okay, here, this is basically inductor. This is also inductor. So let's see if we can find any diode. Here we have resistor here. Do you see? Here we have diode, as you can see. This is diode. Here we have PD. So for diode D or PD, we have PD to T means this is diode. Here we have the cathode. Why? Because we have here, as you can see, a white line means over here we have the cathode. Here we have the cathode, as you can see. Okay? So here we have MOSFET, basically a terminal MOSFET. We call this a terminal MOSFET. This is SMD fuse, okay? So with gate, source, and drain. So four pins for drain, as you can see here, four pins for drain, and for gate, we have one pin over here, and for source, this is three pins, okay? So pin number one, two, three. So this is source, gate, and over here we have drain. Let's see the motherboard, if we can find any MOSFET. So we have MOSFETs here, as you can see. For this one, it's not MOSFET. This one also, it's not MOSFET. Why? Because we have here U, but for MOSFET, we have Q, PQ. So please pay attention. The reference for the MOSFET in the motherboard is Q or PQ, as you can see here, do you see PQ? But for the IC, as you can see, we have U. So this is IC, this one also is IC, and also here, as you can see, we have the IC, okay? We have here U3, okay? So this is two MOSFETs. Do you see this dot over here? This dot means this is the pin number one, two, three. So this is the source gate and over here we have drain okay then we have the transistor exactly the s in the transistor we have because this transistor is mounted in the motherboard surface okay with base collector and emitter so base over here we have base collector and emitter okay always remember base collector emitter okay so let's see the motherboard again so here, as you can see, we have Q. This is basically transistor. This two component is transistor. Also, you can find MOSFETs with the same shape and the same terminals, okay? Here also we have transistor. Here also we have transistor, okay? So we have here ACMD. This is basically light emitting diode, okay? It emits the light with two arrows here. This is basically the symbol. The same symbol as a normal diode plus these two arrows means emitting light, light emitting diode, okay? So let's see the motherboard. If we can find any LED here on the motherboard or not, so we don't have any LED here, no problem. Then we have a regulator. Do you see here? This is this compound basically is not an ECMD component. It's not ECMD, surface mounted the face. We call this kind of component a hole, true hole, THT component, because we have terminal, so true hole technology component. So this is the voltage regulator, basically, it is like a MOSFET or a transistor, but its terminals are different. It has the input, the ground and the output okay so input ground output okay for example for the input it could be 12 volts and output is 5 volt or the input could be 5 volt and the output could be 3 volts okay then we have network resistors as you can see this kind of resistors is a combination of many resistors. It, call, it could be three, four, five, etc. Okay, do you see? This is basically a combination of many resistors with this value. Basically, this value means what? Means 1000 ohm or 1k ohm. Here we have 10, and these two 
we means two zeros after 10 means 1000 ohm okay so let's see the motherboard if we can find network resistors as you can see over here do you see here we have network resistors here also so basically this network resistors is a combination of four resistors but this one for example over here or this one do you see we have four or five resistors so i have a question here what is exactly the purpose of this resistor so basically the purpose of this resistors is to minimize the space in the motherboard to gain the space in the motherboard okay then we have the current sense resistor this basically it sends the current is it okay or not okay so we find this kind of resistors always in the beginning of any circuit especially in the charge circuit 3 volt 5 volt circuit okay so <clears throat> its resistance is is about zero or two ohms so let's see in the motherboard if we can find any current sense resistor as you can see here we have current sense resistor. do you see here basically this is the power jack and as you can see here we have the switches and we have the current sense resistors over here okay then we have fuse resistors we have already seen the fuses anyway this is fuse resistors you can find one zero above the fuse resistor or three zeros this is basically the symbols it could be this symbol or this symbol but this symbol is universal symbol and this one is us symbol this is a limited symbol okay and for this one this is a worldwide or universal symbol that, that you can find everywhere in every schematic also you can find this one but it's not like this one then we have the thermistor resistors as you can see here this is the thermistor resistors and over here we have two symbols it could be this one or this one with a row over here and we have T here then we have the light dependent resistor as you can see light dependent resistor it is the opposite of the LED so for the LED the arouse is in this direction out and here the arouse is in so this is photoresistor so we call it photoresistors or light dependent resistor LDR okay then over here we have the short key diode as you can see its symbol is like a normal diode but here we have this line as you can see here this bended line we have the anode we have the cathode you can find also a short key diode with three terminals two terminals or even four terminals okay for this one for example this is its symbol two diodes connected together in their cathode as you can see means we have three terminals three terminals or two terminals so for the shoot key diode you will find it in the output for the output we use it for the output voltage okay so for the switch mode power supplies you should never replace a normal diode with a short key diode never because this kind of diode is not the same as a normal diode that is used for example in the bridge rectifier this is a very fast diode so thank you very much guys so we're gonna continue in the next part this is basically the first part i hope that you understand a little bit of course please make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to stay updated for future videos like this one and for anyone anyone who want to join me in my patreon page you are very welcome you will find in the patreon page a, a very useful and unique content you can find many many schematics for free you can upload download it for free just be a member on my on my partner page and you can upload any schematic you have and for anyone who want me as a mentor 
I can mentor you and connect with you closely via WhatsApp and helping you fix your computer issues. And also, of, and of course, you can join me in the YouTube membership to join many perks and features. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.